It's the Snow Days Festival in Banff. Ice carvers are here. Tourists are here. And so are hundreds of rural health professionals. They're attending the 39th Annual Emergency Medicine for Rural Hospitals event. This weekend of plenary sessions and workshops is organized by the University of Calgary Office of Continuing Medical Education and Professional Development. This conference is specifically designed for healthcare professionals working in rural areas. The topics are chosen by rural practitioners. The speakers are rural practitioners. RPAP is here too, in more ways than one. RPAP provided bursaries to 20 nurses, paramedics, and nurse practitioners to cover their registration cost. Still a little bit long. Because of the bursary, that was the reason definitely why I was able to attend. Um, if I hadn't, you know, was given the access to that, I probably wouldn't have been, be here today. Like I wouldn't have been able to afford coming, paying the hotel fees and everything else, um, and missing work shifts to come here if it wasn't for the RPAP bursaries. So keep your middle phalanges on each other and now get your fingers to go straight, you can't straighten your fingers. RPAP also made it easier for medical students to attend by covering registration costs and accommodations. This is the best time to show medical students that rural practice is a potential option for them, that rural practice can be a very fulfilling professional opportunity for them. Like you could be like a one person show here. So we'll turn it on. Shock advice. It's been amazing. This is maybe my first year coming here. It's something I'm going to bring back to have more of my actually staff members hopefully attend this, um, get some new ideas coming into our site. I've loved it so far. There's been lots of like really great information that I can take away and bring home to my rural site. Small sites usually limited staff availability, so these give us all of that extra confidence and uh, background on how to deal with different situations that we don't necessarily see on a regular basis. This has been a game changer in our facility because oh, it's so sure. much easier. Yeah. The Rural Anesthesia for GP Anesthesiologist Conference was held in conjunction with Emergency Medicine for Rural Hospitals. This course allows general practitioners who practice anesthesia in rural communities to learn about current issues and apply the latest techniques in anesthesia. Here GPAs use ultrasound to practice the use of nerve blocks instead of sedation for hip and knee surgery. Learning opportunities like these make rural health professionals feel supported, and that means they're more likely to stay in rural practice. You're getting more tools to bring back with you. You don't feel as alone, even if you are, you know, one RN working in an emergency department. At least it gives you ways that you can connect with others to put stuff into place. Getting these opportunities makes me feel more valued and that I get to learn more and be a better asset to my community. 